What is one thing that Jesus wants us to pray for? One thing that Jesus himself prayed for? That's what we're going to be looking at this week as uh, we look at the text, Matthew 9, 35 to 38. I will take a, a brief break from our What We Believe About God series this week, and so it'll be uh, a little bit different. We'll have a friend of the church, uh, Dean Overholt, who's been here uh, several times in the past, will be preaching on this text. Uh, if you've heard him before, you know um, how great he is, what, what encouragement that will be to your soul. If not, uh, come out, um, and I know that you will be encouraged uh, by that as we look at Matthew 9, 35 to 38. Uh, together. We will not have our Equipping the Saints time this week. We'll be taking a, a, a break for the summer, and so that has concluded, and near the end of the summer we'll announce what those fall classes will be, uh, so you can stay tuned for that. We will have communion uh, after the service, and it will be individual uh, served communion, uh, which is when uh, people come forward and receive the elements from the elders. And if you've not had been part of that in the past uh, no worries there we'll have we'll have instructions for for what that looks like and how that is done but we we do hope that can be a an encouraging time as you reflect in the personal nature of Jesus's sacrifice for you I'm looking forward to this Sunday I hope that you can uh, come out uh, the service is at 1030 we'd love to have you whether you are a regular member uh, whether you are uh, a, guest, uh, a guest of ours that's been here several times, or whether maybe you're exploring churches and looking to get plugged in, uh, this is a great week for you to join us, and we'd love to have you. Mm -hmm.